We have gathered today as members of this church so that we can congregate together to remind ourselves of our roles and duties in building our churches, building our families and building our nation. And uh, in this exercise we've tried to make provision for our members to donate blood so that can go and help those who are in need of it. Uh, Naraka Cell Blood Bank, we've partnered with them and they're here. They're trying to collect blood from our members. And it's our routine that every year we make plans to have such events. For example, in August, we are having what we call revival meetings in our terms we call the calm meeting season. And uh, we've encouraged our members and we've made it a point that we make provision for all those camping sites to have uh, donating blood exercises so that we can help those who need blood. So if we don't do donate blood, you, you never know tomorrow it's me involved in an accident, the other day is you, the other day is your sister, the other day is your brother. So this is my humble call to all the church leaders in all other de denominations that it's important to mobilize our people to donate blood. There is no harm with it. Because if the church mobilizes blood and you have blood in our blood banks and the government also mobilizes, the youth fraternity mobilize, the women fraternity mobilize, and we have blood in our blood banks. I think that one will really help so that we save lives of our people. We are challenged as health workers in rural district as far as blood is concerned because we don't have enough in most of the facilities. Malaria still number one killer disease and it affects children mostly and you find that at most cases they, they don't have enough blood. Secondly, we have sick, many sick or sickler children in Ruero and they also need blood. Most times they need blood. Yes. 